Yo, what's up, everybody? Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you watch me from. This morning, when I heard the news, I was not happy at all. Like many of you, as good Nigeria, good lover of the video as a musician and I decided to do a video I don't do such video but I decided to do it because I believe there is so much lesson we can learn I would like to share with you people that our assistant in life is about living and death. There is just a line in between life and death. You should all know that. And for the fact that we are alive, we should know that we have to be very, very, very careful how we live our life. As you all know, if we make any mistake that will cost us our lives, it will be late for us to do any solution to get our life back. Life is something we shouldn't play with. If you are happy being alive, you should be very careful how you move, what you do because anything that will lead to death, we should be very careful. We know that no, no matter how careful we are, when the time reach, definitely no one can stop it. Only God, the giver, and the taker of life. Why I decided to do another video on this is because I came across so many videos that people did and there are so much different point of view, views, and I decided to say, Everybody's opinions matter and they are right with touching different angles. But I felt it's important for us to learn from it and it's important for everybody to share whatever they think. But we should know something that is very important, which is God the creator of heaven and earth has the superior power over our existence. Because one of the video I saw was saying there is a revelation that was passed to them, to the family precisely. And a lot of people were saying probably they didn't pay attention to it. They may be right and they may be wrong. But what I want everybody to know now is that sometimes God himself share information about what is going to happen to everybody or to certain people. At the end of the day, he changes it or he blindfolds them in order not to know what to do. Because I remember after the video, the person that did the video, after he, he played, the pastor who saw the vision or the revelation and said, okay, this is what I saw and I need to reach out to the video's family. He, he said he make all attempt to make sure that he passed the 
right information to them so that they can be very careful. At the end of the day, for one reason or the other, he couldn't achieve that. What do you think is happening there? It is will of God. If God wants it to be, it will be. And if God doesn't want it, it will not be. I want you all to know that this very good boy we are talking about, Ivan, is a God's son. You should all know that. God decided to bless the boy to the widow's family, Adelike's family. And you should know that that boy has a purpose in this life. The purpose has been fulfilled by God, so we don't have anything to worry about. Each one of us, we have purpose. Being alive today, you have not fulfilled your purpose. That's why we are still alive. Immediately, you completed your assignment. What are you still waiting for? We want to live long. Sure, everybody prays to live long. But do you know what is waiting for you after life? Nobody knows. But the only way you will know is by fulfilling the good way that God has sent you and tells you to do. Like we all have brain, God say, these are the bad, don't do it. These are the good, do it. That is the only way we will have belief or, or assurance that we have done our best. And whenever God is ready, we are ready. It is only when you believe in God that sent you that you have that kind of belief. Let me tell you, what happened to Ifai is not new, it has been happening, but it's new to some people because the video is a popular person, someone who people love so much. You remember, I said on the video, you remember the same thing as happens to the band family. How much people talked about it? Many people talked about it, but I think it's not, it was not as much as people. Probably, maybe I'm the one not, you know, invoke about the, the bunch soon. I heard about the bunch on and I felt bad. And now, the bunch and the family, they're happy. They have gone over it. They are fine. The same thing will happen to the video as well. It's just a matter of time. But what I want you all to know is that this boy in question has come to pass message. He has come to do what he, what he came to the world to do. It is left to us to pick the message the boy came to pass and use it judiciously. Let me tell you, I see the boy as an angel. Let me tell you again, the boy for me is an angel. When you see a child that just come and put an appearance and everybody, whether they like it or not, they just love him. They take him for who he is or for who he was. Those messengers don't stay long. Those messengers don't stay long. I want you all to know that. That does not mean your child is not a messenger. It's a messenger in different ways. You are a messenger in different ways. Every one of us are in this world for a purpose, for reason best known to God who sent us to this world. 
we should worry less because whether we like it or not, each one of us will live one day. No matter how good we are enjoying life, when the time reach, we'll have to pack our loads and go. Remember, when I say our load, what did we bring to this world? What are we living with? You don't bring nothing. We are living with nothing. But the legacy, whether good or bad, will be left behind. I want you all to know, please, I beg you, know this guy came for a purpose and the purpose has been fulfilled. The, the tragedy is a lesson for all of us to learn. You know, when I did the video, I was talking about the architect, the builder should make sure that they do the kind of security measures so that children don't have access to pool. But later when I watched a video, the person was saying there's a door that led to the pool, meaning that the architect did what is necessary to prevent accident happening at the pool for, for children. Now, when the when, when the person released the video of a pastor that says there's a message, there's a revelation he saw and he wanted to reach the family. Let me tell you now, everybody, if anyone see anything that will happen to anybody in future, that is your gift. But you can only, you know, do what you know. You can only prevent what you saw. What about the one you didn't see? I'm not saying the pastor is wrong or right. But did the pastor see the boy moving towards the pool? Did the pastor know that the boy is going to die in pool? If the boy, uh, uh, the pastor had seen that, that would be another thing. I don't know. And the man is not here for me to ask him. But I'm not only saying that when God wants to refuse something, God doesn't share everything with everybody. If God wants you to be someone who will rescue or, or help somebody, God will give you every direction, every access to achieve that. That is how God uses people. If you see something, I want you to know that God is telling you the power you have, the power he has given you. That is what God is trying to communicate with you. That does not mean that you can do everything. No. Sometimes it could be the house app. Those people that were arrested, it could be one of them that God will use to change the narrative without anybody knowing, without anybody appreciating them. Sometimes some people will save people's life and nobody will give them credit because they are not shown as someone who delivers people. God could use anybody. That is my belief. And I want you to know that I'm not discredit anyone. I'm only trying to know the power God has and he can use the power through anybody.
He can make you available when you are not even going towards where he's going to use you. He will redirect you and you will get the job done and you leave without anybody knowing who does that or who did that. When you hear about mystery, till tomorrow, you can never know. You can only do your research and the mystery will be, ever be mystery. See, one thing, I don't want, I, I'm not intent to do a longer video, but I will do it for the sake of clarification. Sometimes when you pass message, Many people misquote, even especially when the video is short. When they get the message, everybody translates the message in their own way, which is good. But most time, when we give ourselves time to listen and you know share knowledge, we will understand that life goes beyond that. For the pastor, I want to give credit to the pastor. That is your calling. But you should know that God can only give you the power to do beyond what you think without you planning or practicing it. I want you to know that what happened whether it's like some people are saying spiritual, some people are saying it's not natural or something. Some wise people, they said children don't die just like that. But they are not talking, they are not making emphasis on, uh, on accidents like this. They are saying natural death like you just go to bed or you do fall sick or something they said children has the immune system that control and give them way to sleep well to recover so many illness they have because they've not started doing so much thinking and all the stress which is right and i believe that is possible but for accident there's so many accident that one could you know engage that will easily you know take one's life that's why it is important for every parent to make sure that they are always available for the children to look over them. Because no matter who you employ to take your position, they will not do it as much as you would do it. I may be wrong, but I think if you think deeply, if you want to wash your clothes, if you are not lazy and you really want to wash your clothes, you believe that nobody can wash your clothes clean as you wish, as you want to wash it clean. Because you are the one that won the clothes. You know where and where is dirty, where and where you need to scrub properly. I just use that as an example. I also want everybody to know that there's a musician that says, okay, I think it's Barista. He said, Because I don't know how you, you know, the song goes, but I only have an idea. What that means, death doesn't know if you are a president, if you are a governor, if you are a popular star, look at Michael Jackson. 
You know how Michael Jackson died? If Michael Jackson didn't die that way, he would die another way. Why is good for everybody to come up with their suggestion, their opinion, what they think? We will keep learning. We continue to learn. It is good for police to do their job, to do their investigation. It will help us. But I want us to know that no matter how we are going to run away from it, when it is time for anyone, we shall go. With if anyone involved in an accident and you survived it, your time has not reached. But what we need is to always make sure that we do the will of God. We follow the right way God has laid down. Because we have Quran, we have Bible, we have people that train us positively so that we don't make mistakes. But those people that trained us, you want to tell me they don't have their difference? They do. But they still train us. They still show us the way because they had the experience. What that means is nobody can get it 100% perfect when it comes to death. There is no way you can escape it. Why do we, you know, bother too much? Why are we worrying ourselves? I think you people should know that Davido, Davi, sorry, Davido, as a father and Chioma as a mother, this thing matters to them so much. The reason why I said so, I believe. I believe that this is an opportunity for them to move closer to God because I believe this is a call from God. If they are going to ask anybody why, they will say, God, why? God, why? What have I done to you to deserve this? From day one, that they give birth to this boy, who did it is God. Up to this moment, do you know why I'm saying I'm very happy for the boy in question? Because the boy came to the world and teach a lot of us lessons. It teach a lot of us lesson. Let me tell you. The video has so many children. If I say so many, maybe I'm exaggerating. I'm sorry, forgive me. I know of Imadi and I know of Ifain. I don't know about that. I can't remember. Now, each one of them has something that the father has prepared or planned for them. Who is the real father? God is the real father. But we, we are just a clone copy of God. We believe that this is my own, like we all believe, and I'm going to do everything I can for, for, for the person. Okay, the boy is no more. Somebody 
as we take those things. That is life. Anything that is yours is yours and will be yours. God is the one that distributes, is the one that shares. I'm not saying that people should not plan for their kids. People should plan. But what I'm saying is that what we should do, what should we should pay attention to is God, do we know what God is planning? We don't know. What do we need to do in order to be in line with God's plan is to move close to God, to pray when it matters, to follow the will of God, and to make sure that life is beautiful and we should not take living as because everybody, let me, before I say us, everybody believed that. I used to feel that way. I used to believe that in the world, I am number one. No one supersedes me. I am number one. The same way you think you are number one. The same way every other person thinks is number one. Or everybody believe in themselves there's nothing bad there god give us the power to believe in yourself god give us the strength to believe you can achieve this but we should always know that when it comes to sharing god can be questioned. What is happening to the video presently is happening to many other people in the world. And I want to tell you, life goes on. Life goes on. Because why I'm saying this, there are so many views online, different opinions. Some people are happy, why some are not happy. But let me go to the area, the side of those people that are not happy. Those people that are not happy, they are happy because this happened to the video. I don't know them. But they, they know themselves. And God knows them. Now, those people that are not happy, they've been praying. They want to be happy. And now, this happened. They are happy. And the other people are sad. You see how life is? Some people are happy because this Terrible things happen to someone. I want you all to know that each one of us, we should make sure we tighten our belt. We tighten our lace, shoelace. We wear our socks. Whatever that will make us, you know, take the race and win. You have to be ready for it. To worship God is not easy. Remember, there are different ways of worshiping God. Some people worship God for prosperity. Why some people worship God for who God is? I want the family of Adeliki to know that I condone them. And I pray that God Almighty will give them, will strengthen them, 
give them the fortitude to bear the loss and they will come out stronger. This boy did you a favor. He came to the world to light your life and that light will be remain in your life forever because there are some things you don't know. The boy came to show you. And let me tell you, what I think is that all the good thing God has done for you, you appreciate it, glory to God, but there is more you can do. That is the message God is trying to pass to you. You need to move close to God. Because God has shown you that he loves you. If, you. if you check yourself very, very well, from day one you started trying. From day one you started pushing. God has always been with you. Remember, many people have died. Life goes on. Now, this one that happens, I know is very, very painful. When, it, when things like this happen, one will feel like to take his or her life because something that is unbearable happens to you. But I want to tell you for a fact, no matter how much you love this boy, God loves this boy more than you. And there is no how. If you take your life, you can't bring the boy back. And if you take your life, that does not guarantee you seeing the boy. There's a thing to do to see the boy again. And I want you to know it's possible. Move close to God. Whatever you are doing, that because anything you are doing that is against the will of God, you know. You know. And it's hard for you to control yourself. That's why I'm saying God uses this boy to draw you closer. Because somebody like myself, that is what I learned. And imagine yourself that you are the blood of a particular boy we are talking about. It would touches you more than I do. I want you, everybody listening, if you have opportunity to see this, just know that you should learn from this. We are all running up and down because of what we need to achieve for our family. Sometimes we don't remember to pray. Some of the prayer we pray, they are just normal prayer. God answer all prayers. But let me tell you, sometimes you have to fast. You have to deny yourself of some fun. Sometimes you have to remain without doing some certain things that most people do when they have money. We should know that it's good to enjoy life. It's good to catch for. But let me tell you, when time like this comes, it is only your faith that will make you stronger. If you don't have faith, so many evil things will be pushing you, will be controlling you. 
But when you have your faith, strong faith, you will look at God and smile and you will say, thank you, God. You did this to me. You know, I'm not happy, but I can't question you. That's what you tell God. God made everybody. Who are we to question God? I'm only trying to communicate in my own best possible way. Because it is when God wants to open our eyes, he opens our eyes. For those that God is not ready to open their eyes, they will remain blindfold. As for me, I'm scared of death seriously because I don't know when and I pray I'm able to worship God and achieve my, you know, accomplish to a stage of which I will look at myself and say, yes, for so many years I've not been doing this bad, so I'm safe because I believe you can judge yourself. You know your movement. Those things you have been doing behind the door that nobody sees you, you know you can rate yourself. Until I'm able to achieve that, I'll be ready. I will be 100% ready. But for now, I'm scared because I know I'm not, I've not been able to achieve that. And I pray that God Almighty will continue to give us, to make it easy for us to be able to take God serious. Let me, let me tell you, there are some people that I know, that I look up to, that I wish I could be like them. Those people are not... They, they, don't, they, don't, they don't care about life if I say life about flamboyant life they don't cherish material things Why ch I cherish material things so much and I try to control myself but I couldn't but those people that I look up to they value those material things lesser they are the type that pray. If they never pray, they don't eat. If they never pray, they don't sleep. I wish I'm like them. I tell you, any day or any week that I do all those things that those people do, I don't care of that. This boy, if I is a big blessing for all of us. I will tell you why I say it's a big blessing. He's a boy that God has placed in a position where the, whereby anyone who sees this boy see potential, see opportunity, see so many things that make want somebody great there is no doubt about it if this boy grown to 18 20 25 upward nothing nothing that look like poverty will ever near this boy Everybody can, if you don't, if you are not, if you don't agree with me, there is no problem. But we believe that if we have a platform that cater for all things, we are good to go. I'm, I'm hundred percent believe that if that guy 
that boy live beyond this age. This boy will never suffer. When it comes to medical, if they check this boy head, everything is 100% perfect. Even if it's not perfect, there is money to make sure that they work it out. How much will it take? Is it the chain that is that worse? How much hospital will charge them that they wouldn't be able to afford? But this just happened within a blink of an eye. And inside their multi million Naira building or house bought by his father had and sweat money with something they, they, they put in place for them to enjoy life. And that thing, that same thing that they spend so much money to accomplish now, now cause or make happens to be where the boy drowned and died. Do you think the video will ever want to go to that pool and swim again? Just, just imagine that. Do you think somebody that experienced such will be happy in that house? I don't know how strong you are. That's why I said on the first video, I will say, that ball will be in their mind forever, will be remembered forever, forever. Let me give you an example. There is somebody in my family that died before I was born. I never forgot that person. It's always in my mind. Anytime I see my mom, I see my dad, whether physically or through the picture, I always remember all of us and that person is one of us because I used to imagine he was with us before. And the all other experiences like friends that I had in the past that has passed on, I always see them. I always see the last moment we spent together. If you are true to yourself, if you are sincere to yourself, whatever you see before, when that thing is no more, you will always remember. Even if you are trying to take it off your brain. Let me give you a simple example. If you dated a girl and the girl you love so much, not a girl, just passerby. A girl you love so much and something happened. You are no longer together. You want to tell me you will not remember that person. Of course, you will. You will remember, definitely. And this one is more stronger. We shouldn't even compare this to what I'm comparing with. For me, again, this boy came to the world to waken us up. And I want everybody, everybody to worry less about this boy. But worry about yourself. Are you doing what God asks you to do? Are you in line with the will of God? If you know that this word is not the end, 
when you end here, you are going to give an account what you are able to do in life. Yes, God sent us. But for those of us that are living, God has given us all the platform. He gave us free hand, free hand to choose between good and bad. I don't want to talk too much. I know I've said a lot. But not only the video I'm trying to communicate with. Everybody, including myself, because I'm one of you. Davido is living his life, but you should remember, God bless him. God make it possible. When he was struggling, hustling, sometimes it's not about money. Maybe he's not hustling for money because like we all know, he's from a rich home. But there's no how you will come with a rich home. You want to achieve your own. That, that's why I like the guy because he's not a lazy type. He's not, he, he, he's not perfect, but he's not a lazy guy. He pushes for his life and he chooses a career. If you watch his interview, you always say, he tried different. He was a producer before. He was trying to. He he loved to try something. Some people who come from a rich home, they will not want to do anything. I'm not here to blame anybody. That's why I said purpose, purpose, purpose. There is purpose for every. Those people that came that don't want to do anything. Go and ask their parents. If their parents are happy with them, some parents will be happy with their child who refuse to, you know, take their business to the next level. They will be happy. They say, okay, he doesn't like softness. I've seen people like that. And some will say, I like this boy. He always wants to take my business to the next level. Some people... And some people, when they see their child trying to divert from what they are doing or what they know, they will start hating each other. I'm only giving you example of different things that happen to different people. God push different things to different people. It is now left to you to know how to undo it. Above all I've said, what is paramount? Are you able to communicate with God? Nobody is 100% satisfied with life. Ask the richest man in the world. We are always wanting, 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 wanting to achieve something we don't have. Fuck nicer, the poorest people on earth. Aside from ego, rich people can learn something from fuck nicer. You will sometimes imagine how could that be? There's something Falconizer knows that the rich man doesn't know. But if you see humble person who always communicate with Falconizer, even if, if he's sitting at the back of his jeep or car, he will still call and say, Oga, kill a super machine. What do you think we should do? Okay, where should we change our tire? Because it's the Falconizer that will provide solution. That will give you longevity. Because if you don't listen to Fognizer, if something go wrong, your ego kills you. At least everybody has 
a purpose in life. But these days, we have taken ourselves for granted. Anyone that does not have money will not be recognized. That is the level we are in now. It is good to be recognized in your own feed. It is good to respect one another. But humanity should be cause across. Humanity should be general. Treat every human being as equal as you can. Because if God did not give you that opportunity to be rich, to be successful, and you find yourself in position where the forknizer or the cobbler are, do you have anything to say to God that why did you, can you, you will be powerless. The forknizer want to be rich. But they maintain. I, I always like making reference to some people that do some jobs that when you look at the job, many of us cannot remain, do the job for one year, talk less of 15 years. Some are, I know of some people, they use that work to marry, to send their children to school, to do so many things. Low income or low earning work if they are not determined or committed to serve humanity, they will not remain doing the job. Those people should be respected. Those people should be honored. Those people should be recognized. But here, we don't appreciate good work. Anyone who does not have money we don't see them as human beings. Humanity should come first. Then religion will guide us to heaven. As long as we are alive, God says, love your neighbor as yourself. Love yourself, love your neighbor, and make sure you don't discriminate. All this I'm saying, I'm saying it because the video did not rely on his parents' money. He pushed, and God said, Amen. God supported him, and he gets to this level. Now, at this stage, at this point, that what the video is facing, I tell you, if you are not strong, if you are not powerful, I don't know how to say it. But what I want everybody to know. The video and Chioma needs to make sure that they put their heads together. They don't be discouraged with what people are saying. They make sure that the planning they had on ground should continue because don't let what happen to stop you. If your ball is all around, you will do what you are planning. Now, 
I want to encourage you. You still need to do what you are planning because if you deviate from what you are planning, <laughs> I don't want to say you will disappoint the boy. I don't want to use the word because all you have been planning, I believe that the boy is happy with what you are planning. That's why all those things are in place. Don't make mistake. Follow your art. You know, when things like this happen, you don't think upright. You don't think well. Especially when you have different people around you. This one will come with their ideas. This one will go, come with their opinion. I want you to know, this is a trial time. God is trying each one, of, each, each one of you. Just make up your mind. Take it the way it happens and continue with your plans. And I tell you, if I is coming again. That's what I want to tell you. No matter what anybody says, no matter what anybody says, if I could come in form of a female, if I could come in form of a male, if I could come, maybe as a male, the next step or the next baby coming let me just put this straight maybe your next baby should be if I or another imadi after then if I or if I if I if I or imadi imadi if I that see God will do what God has to do and let me tell you, whatever God gives you, take it with joy. Don't let anybody poison your mind. I want to let you know, you should not worry. That's why I give the bunch all my respect. Because that dude is a strong, courageous man. is a very strong man and I want you to copy him and be strong. Listen, you can't be happy forever. Remember when Tagbo on happened, when uh, this guy, your DJ Olu happened, when Obama on happened, you feel sad. But this won't eat you seriously. That is what make a man a man. Let me tell you, I know from day from today, from yesterday, you are a changed person. Hundred percent, I know. You are a changed person. You behave differently. You act differently. You respond differently. Everything about you will be changed because, let me tell you, no matter how much money you have, life changes people. What you see, what you go through will change you. I don't want to talk too much. This is almost one hour. I've learned so much. I read so many people messages uh some i'm happy some um mm. for those of you that say whatever you say to your best of knowledge there's no problem but what goes around comes around we don't prove that evil bad things happen to any of you we pray 
and we need to be positive about what we wish other people. And I want to say best of luck to every one of us. And what I want you to know again, no matter what anybody says, no matter what anybody believes, nobody can stop God when it's time for God to do whatever he wants to do. I remember some people told us that my dad would not die. And my dad died. Who killed my dad? The death is from God. I strongly believe that it is from God. That's where I'm going to stop it. Everybody, have a nice, good rest. Take care of yourself. God bless everybody. R.I.P. Ifain Adeliki.